So this is going to be part three of the wake up call. So I've already went over like the timing was August to March, August 17 to March of 18. I got all the paintings um, and then God woke me up. I didn't still understand fully like what the paintings meant. I, I, had, I knew they were in Revelation, but I didn't understand what Revelation was telling me. I, I, I was, you know, I sought out pastors. I sought out people that I thought were, you know, godly people. Some people were like, yeah, I don't know. Um, even like people I thought would have godly wisdom that were in church for years really didn't know what it, what revelation meant, like what the scriptures meant. Um, so I went down this rabbit hole of just trying to figure it all out. And so I spent a lot of time, um, you know, looking at all different points of view, praying, seeking God to find out like, what are you trying to show me? I know you showed me this. Now, what does it mean? And what am I supposed to do with it? Um, and so, yeah, that was a whole journey by itself. So, uh, a pastor friend of mine that I met his, um, from Opelika, Alabama, he really helped me to put together some of the little pieces. Um, this was like in 2019, I believe. And I brought several of the paintings with me and we had lunch and hung out, me and his wife and his and all the people that had come to the conference from all across the country, some people I had met on YouTube and things like that. We all got together and, and it was cool because you remember how I told you that like, I felt like I had a pocket full of puzzle pieces and that when I laid them on the table, they didn't really make a lot of sense, but I knew they were important and significant. So what I've come to realize is that God gives us all a pocket full of puzzle pieces um, in a different, whatever way he meets us where we are. So like he spoke to me through art. He speaks to me through music. He speaks to me through, um, dreams and visions and of course through scripture and everything that I've received so far, I, I've learned it always needs to line up with scripture. If it doesn't line up, then it's probably not from God. <laughs> so, um, so that's a whole different a trail that I'm not going to go down right now because I'm not here to preach to anybody. I'm I'm really just here to share with you like my experience and figuring out what it is that God is trying to show us and why and what are we supposed to do with it. So, um, went to this conference, got to hang out with a bunch of brothers and sisters in Christ, and come to find out, all of them had a pocket full of puzzle pieces. And it was like the little, the, you know how when you put together a puzzle and you try to put all the colors together and you get try to get the corners and the sides and the bottom all around the edges, the frame together. Um, and because none of it makes sense when you're just looking at these random pieces. Well, that's what it was like for me. I had this, I had a few corner pieces. I had a few side pieces. I had some pink, some blue, some purple, you know, figuratively. And none of it made a big picture. But when I started seeing that other people had pieces to the puzzle and we started talking about it, things started making more sense. We started to see a little bit of a bigger picture. And it's really cool because God's ways are so above our ways of thinking that we can't even like comprehend or fathom the way he has everything worked out and how he is working every single day in all of our lives. Okay, so I want to go into some of the basic details of just a few of the things that I've had dreams about, I've had visions about. Most of what I've been shown, it would be scary to most. It doesn't scare me, and I believe that's just because God's the one giving it to me. He's the one showing it to me. He's not showing it to me to scare me, like, as in, like, <gasps> I know that he, the fear of God is important, so we should fear the Lord, and we should realize and recognize and be convicted if we are being called to repent. But it's not to, like, cause anxiety or make someone shut down with fear, okay? So that's not what this is about. Come back for part four, and I will talk a little bit more about some specific dreams, some specific visions, and then 
probably by six or seven, I will get into the strong warning that is for the full body of Christ. And I would say also for people that are on the edge of even knowing if they're a believer or not. So please come back for more. Thank you so much for listening to me. I know I can ramble at times and we're getting someplace y'all. Thanks so much. Um, I appreciate you subscribing or not subscribing, um, following, comment. I encourage commenting. I try to comment back. Um, yeah. And I'll try to do some lives too. Maybe take some questions and answers at some point. Tell me if y'all would like to do that. Thanks. Talk to you later.